I don't like the way one of my scapes look. It's bugging me. Let's change it up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video of Nakoscape. That's me, Nat, back with another video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on videos to do with unboxings and reviews of products related to aquascaping and me setting up different styles of aquascapes, different difficulty levels of aquascapes, these different materials and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, if you like that kind of content, subscribe. It will really help me out. So as I mentioned, one of the tanks I'm not really happy with. Let's have a look. Let's see what we're going to do. All right then, guys. So you can see, sorry about that background noise. My wife is just inflating the pool outside. Well, it's not a pool, it's a ball pit. But we're just inflating that for my daughter because we're in the summer and it's nice and warm. Anyway, back to this. So just doing some water changes at the moment. And the water's going out to feed the plants as well. So while I'm doing the water change, I'm going to get rid of all of this kind of brown algae. Just manually, not too much though, because I'm going to stick some Amana shrimp and some Otto Sinclair's catfish. They'll chew on that, no problem. It's a good food source for them when you introduce these fish into your tank. So I don't mind this diatom bloom because I can easily remove it and my fish are going to take care of it once they're introduced again the other thing we need to do is if you've noticed i want to get rid of all of these big plants but you know what look at the hagrophilia um this is the simensis 53b oh my looking good looking good look at that immense growth look at that immense growth it's beautiful right beautiful but yeah i'm getting rid of that because it kind of breaks away the perspective from that kind of log tree as we discuss further anyway without further ado let's get rid of this brown diatom algae Alright guys, so all the plants at the back are out and what I've done is just lower the level of the water. I've got rid of all the moss that I had here. What I want to do is cut off some Fissidens moss that I have in another tank, glue that on there um, and then put some of the Staragania repens as well. I might cut off some Cryptocrani balensi and put that at the back. I'm not sure yet, I'll just have to wait and see.
Here is the escape a couple of days later. Let's have a closer look, shall we? Okay, so the first thing to note is I managed to get as must, much of that must, much of that duckweed, whatever it is, from the tank. There's still some around there, there's still some floating in there, which I'll get out in due course. But just got out as much as possible because you know the floating plants were stopping the light from getting down to the grosser stigma. So the grosser stigma is growing up and across rather than just across. Look at that glossy stigma pearling. Look at that pearling. I've just swapped to the 50 millimeter lens, 50 millimeter lens rather. And oh yeah, really nice pearling on the glossy stigma, even at the back there. I hate the fact that I can see the heater at the back. I don't like it. I hate it that much that I might actually upgrade to an external filter with an inbuilt heater. Am I going to do that? Am I going to do that? I can't afford it right now, but I might do later. I might do just because I hate seeing the heater. I hate seeing the heater in there. Anyway, this scape now I think looks much better without having those big plants at the back. And it's time to go out to the store and get some fish. So why don't we go and do that? Hi, are you ready to get fishes? Yeah. Yeah, what fishes do you want to get? And the gold ones. The gold ones, and all right then. Like okay, let's go and get some fishes. Every time we come out to go to the fish store to get some fish in the car, this little munchkin falls asleep. Happens all the time, but you know what? Never mind. Mrs. has just gone to the uh, grocery store. We call it supermarket here in the UK. You probably call it that in the US as well. I don't know why I'm talking about supermarkets at the moment. Gonna have to wait for a bit, let her have a nap. Then we'll head up in the fish store, get the fish, get home, get them acclimated, get them released, get all that on video. And try and release this video tonight as well. Edit it all and, and release it tonight. <laughs> yeah, good luck, mate. All right then guys, so I went and got these fish from a store called Fish Alive and that's located in the northeast of England in a town called Durham. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. Fantastic fish store. So, you know, Horizon Aquatics, which I normally go to, is an aquascaping store. That's where I get some of my fish, but you know, mainly most of my plants and the hardscape material. This store does sell hardscape material and plants as well, not in vitro or anything like that, just, you know, potted plants and water but they do amazing fish. If you're into just, you know, a pure kind of fish keeper, that is a really amazing store to go to. Cichlids, marines, the lot, really great. And they've also got a couple of tortoises as well. At that store, you'll also find some beautiful freshwater stingrays, some arowanas, amazing discus, and some, you know, some of your big Oscars and things like that. So if you're in the area, go and check it out.
there you go guys they're all in the mono shrimp i'm gonna get some more mono shrimp in due course i might even get some more harlequins as well they're a nice fish put way too much food in there <laughs> that was way too much all right so that was me kind of rescaping the background plants of this 90 liter aquarium and adding the fish i really hope that you've enjoyed the video if you have then subscribe hit the bell so you don't miss out on future content like this until then i will see you in the next video thank you for watching for now tarak